Going live. Apparently we're live. Hello everyone. Welcome to dancetube.tv. And today I've got Mole Media joining me. So um, check out his content. I've actually got it linked below in the video description. Today we're going for a little bit of a more informal kind of live stream where we're going to talk about the newly released Mini 3. Well, we think it's the Mini 3, hopefully. Who knows? Uh, oh, oh, well, apparently it's already here. And uh, apparently you were saying before it's also on the DJI website. So let's have a look. Yeah, if you um, click the store link up in the top right-hand corner, it's already there. Let's have a look. <laughs> we'll wait. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I love that hand. It, it does not look real. <laughs> it looks like a Photoshopped hand. Huh. Straight out of AG. <laughs> That's nice. Well, I know how excited you've been about this launch, Danny. And I've been counting down the days and watching every single leak possible. <laughs> Hopefully there's some new stuff here. <laughs> here it is. Well, I kind of want to wait for this live stream to see if it's some sort of trailer. Oh, we've got two minutes. Two I'm minutes to go. Board. What's we're going on? We're we looking at the screen next to me because I've got all of it open already. Ready to hit buy now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ready to go immediately. The credit card's ready to go. <laughs> So we've got nearly 4,000 people. Look at the chat. Look at this chat. Oh, everyone's so pumped. Should we get in on that chat? It's actually so exciting though. It's like one of those drones that, like I was excited about the Mavic 3, but this, for, for whatever reason, it's just like another level of excitement. Yeah. I think this is more of the open to all people market, I guess, where the, the Mavic 3 is a bit more, you know, professional-ish yeah yeah the price bracket's much higher yeah i think that's what it is i think it's for me like especially creating drone content like i just love hearing from people who have picked up a new drone or you know people who are just buying their drone for the first time they've never flown before like the amount of people who have recently been hitting me up telling me that the mini 3 is going to be their first drone like that's just such, such an exciting experience like how cool is it that is. that's going to be their first drone they're coming into the market at an awesome time and look at all the tech that hopefully is going to be in this thing. Yeah. Will we get that fancy countdown on YouTube? I think we do, don't we? We're at 60 seconds. Oh, come on. Here we go. I can't remember. Did you watch the Mavic 3 live stream? Yeah, I did. That was a decent long keynote. Yeah. It was like, what, eight, eight minutes live or something? Or live, I'm pretty sure it was pre-recorded, but... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Imagine that production just live. We couldn't even. I couldn't even set up a bloody Zoom call, let alone something of that caliber. Far out. Yeah. Oh, Premiere will begin shortly. This chat. I love it when the chat's just like. You can't even read it. It's not even comprehensible. One five. Let me see. Yeah, drop something in. Let's see if we can see something. I'm just going to say hey. Can you spam it, or do they have a delay on spamming? There must be some. Do, do you see mine oh, popping up? I saw yours pop up for a split second. It's a I'm good way to promote mine. my channel. <laughs> There's no way anyone will be clicking on oh, my name. Yours, yep, yours is gone. Okay. <laughs> cool, so we have a few people. Apparently, how many have we got? Oh, wow, we've actually got 21 people watching live right now on YouTube. What's up, everybody? What's going so on? Nearly 11, 11 p.m. on the eastern east coast of Australia, and we'll wait for it. Yeah. What else do we do on the wet Tuesday night? Ooh, here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna have to mute it, everyone, just in case we get a copyright strike, because <laughs> that happens oh, if you if you would believe oh. it. So, so someone called Peace Drone is in the comments saying they don't think they're gonna buy it. Hmm. Have you? Do you own a drone? If you're still listening, because I I can understand. You know, if you've got another drone, it's probably not worthwhile jumping in. I'd love to know what drone you do have, though. Or if you're a sucker for, like, for technology like we are, I already sold my Mini 2. <laughs> you're ahead of it. I, think I sold it about two, three weeks ago, maybe a month ago even. All right. When the leaks really started coming. I'm like, yeah, I'm getting this one. Yeah. Here we go. We've got a 13 okay. seconds, 12. Okay. Ooh. Game on. Here we go. Hashtag DJ. Yeah. Boom. I didn't realize I had the audio going on my other screen. Ah, <laughs> oh, true. Boom, here we oh, go. Oh, wait, is the Mini 3? I didn't know. That's weird. 
thought we were seeing the Air 3. What? It... No, I'm seeing Mini 3, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah wow. Drone footage, yeah. Yeah. I love the amount of hatred that the Mini 3's had just for its looks. I know. It's... Like, people hate the way it looks. But, you know, it's... When we first saw that render, everyone thought, it, like, what's this? And pull it out of your pocket. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sub, sub 250, which is awesome. We wanted that. So it said 4K HDR. Oh, damn. That's cool. If it's actually a HDR video. Unique low that angle shots. Better. Yeah, that's awesome. Look at that. That's what the Parrot and Naffy kind of innovated, I guess. Yeah. That true vertical shooting. That's cool. I think that's like the official name they've gone for as well. It's exactly like the Mavic one. I love it. Finally, they brought that back. Oh, look at that. There's some crazy shots in there. Yeah. Oh, thread the needle. <laughs> there we go. Active Track 4, which the Mavic 3's got Active Track 5, so it's still pretty much brand new tech, or relatively new tech, like software. It's crazy. It's crazy to think Active Track on such a small drone. Like. Yeah. A Pass 4, which is, again, just... Before A pass five on the Mavic three. Yeah, that's cool. So they've kept it down like a kind of level with the tech. Yeah. Still to have master shots. That's awesome, mate. Like. Zoom mode. Are they going to tell us more? Okay, extended battery. Is this that extra that's battery cool. they were talking about? Oh no. Oh yeah, so it's the heavier battery. So it puts it over um, two hundred fifty grams. Mm. Hyperlapse built in. Finally. Four K sixty. Oh, nice. Dual native ISO as well. That's cool. 1080, 120. <laughs> this is a really good trailer. Like DJI's production yeah. quality is is through the roof. It's insane. What a uh, shot! I was, oh. I was watching some of the old Phantom uh, trailers re uh, a couple of weeks back, and they've really stepped up their game. <laughs> there it is. Oh, it looks like the back legs fold out first. That's cool. There we go. So now, if we actually go to the main website, not the store, we should have all the specs. There it is. Yeah. So That's Fly cool. Mini, Create Big. That's the slogan for the DJI Mini 3 Pro. I like that. So that camera right there. are we not going to see just a Mini 3? Is it only the Mini 3 Pro? Just the Pro by the look of it. Okay. I thought they go. would have maybe separated, you know, pro combo with that remote, um, that proper remote. Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe when we click on buy now, we'll find out some more. I'll just close these tabs so I don't get confused. <laughs> um, so we'll open up the buy now. So here we go. So this is what we kind of saw before. Yep. 4K HDR, extended battery life, true vertical shooting. Okay, what have we got here? Sub 250, nice. Yeah, so a 1 over 1.3 inch, I'm guessing it's a CMOS sensor. Yeah, that's Top. a big sensor for a small drone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Someone actually commented, I don't know if you've um, checked out the Pocket series, the DJI Pocket series. Um, I've never, never, never actually used them before. Yeah, well, a few people were commenting saying that the way that they could see from the leaks and people you know, behind the scenes, they were saying that it looks like the Pocket 3 might have a similar kind of sensor. Because you look at that form factor and that could fit on a tiny gimbal. Yeah, definitely. Mad. So there you go. So that's how it folds out. So it folds di folds out differently, doesn't it? Like yeah. Compared to the older models. Yeah. It's Can kind you of like more of like a swing? Yeah, that's interesting. So it swings down the front legs instead of out to the side. Compared to the old Mavic, which is just like out. There you go. So F one point seven. E twenty four. Well, that's cool. I love their websites. They're so interactive. Hey. Oh, definitely. Okay, so what do they mean, Mini 3 Sports? Oh, Sports are completely new. Look, I'm like thinking there's a new version of it. I'm like, wait, what? The Speed Mini. Okay, nothing to just some copy on their website, I guess. Fold up and go. Yeah, all the generic kind of stuff. Let's find some new stuff. Here we go. 47 minutes. That's crazy. The battery doesn't what? look that much different. That's insane. That is... You could almost get away with one battery that's like, so crazy how <laughs> how is that honestly possible you think about it, such a small tiny drone with all that tech and 47 minutes like i could do a whole shoot with that <laughs> yeah wow 
Yeah, so John John Williams in the comments is saying he's going to wait for some reviews before purchasing. I think that's definitely a safe call. Yeah, always a good call, especially after the um, debacle with the Mavic Three and how many issues that had. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so batteries don't look different. Obviously, the main thing is that this one says two forty nine. I'm guessing this one's going to be a lot heavier. Yeah. So. What I'm reading from there, I guess the the bigger battery obviously is going to put it over that 250 gram limit. Which mm. you know, if, you want, if you're going to be flying within three nautical miles, then use the smaller battery. Yeah, that's a yeah. But I guess it kind of bridges the gap between like a beginner or a hobbyist and someone that maybe wants this for something a bit more professional. Like the fact that you can swap those batteries out. That's so cool. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so what's this? Nothing too exciting. Low light, Low light quality. Oh, it's awesome. What are they and saying? They have a dual native ISO. That's mm. I, don't, I don't think the Mavic Three even has that. Like, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm no, sure I don't think it does. But that's ridiculous. You don't get dual native on drones. Mm. Oh, I'm excited. Here we go. So we've seen this features dual native ISO and supports the direct output of HDR footage. Yeah, oh, nice. Wow. nice. Uh, Yep, yep, yep. 4K HDR. Oh, that's interesting how the play button just kind of floats. And 48 megapixel RAWs, it just said. Ooh. Damn. That's big raw images. <laughs> yeah, that footage looks crispy. Mm. If, you, if I didn't know better, like if I just looked at this random clip on the internet, I'd be like, oh, yeah, that's a Mavic Pro. Oh, uh, Mavic 3. Like, or Mavic 2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> on a bloody me. <laughs> that's crazy, hey. All right, so here we go. I just skipped a little bit, unfortunately. Here we go. So you have 48 megapixel photos. That's just insane. What's the sensor on it, though? Is it a 12, 24? Is it actually a 48 megapixel sensor? I'm going to get, like, without trying it myself or seeing some more reviews, I'm going to guess it's a 12 megapixel with a quad bayer sensor. So, you know, like mm. it's a pixel, pixel shift, and, you know, you'll have to hit the, the you know, 48 megapixel mode, kind of like on the Samsungs where they go up to 108 megapixels. Mm, yeah, yeah. The way, like, it's freaking awesome. Still pretty amazing. Detail, like, if you're taking one single photo at 48 megapixels, that's wow. How big? How big of a file is that? 100 megabytes? Mm. Yeah, that's crazy. It's nice to see that they've added the the cine like color profile. Yeah. Because I guess oh, it's oh, just oh. connected to that pro name, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. So that's nice. I'm gonna load up my screen because I can't actually see on your screen right now. Oh, really? No way. <laughs> there you go. Hopefully oh, so, so it does have the cine profile. Yeah, 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 it does. Oh, that's amazing. See, so for everyone that wants to be, you know, work on your color gradient and everything, that's shoot everything in cine like. Mm. I prefer personally I prefer it over log, it's just a bit easier for social media. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And there was a feature that was available in the Mavic 3 that came out that allowed you to like monitor in like true colors, even though you were shooting in more of a raw, flatter profile. It still allowed you to oh, yeah, monitor, man. which I don't know if they'll bring that here as well. Is that like the uh, live view button or whatever? It actually yeah. Like colorizes it? Yeah. yeah. That's, it's kind of useful, especially when you're looking at something that's really washed out because it's in a log profile. Yeah. Yeah. All right, here we go. So this is the controller. So you can see it's still the same old classic controller we've seen for a few years now, which will just be in, what, the Mini 3 version? We should probably see, like, hey, what's the store what versions we've got. Is it sold out yet? <laughs> yeah, probably. Each customer can only purchase three units. Okay, cool. <laughs> only <laughs> purchase three. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah so... I was going to buy four. <laughs> yeah. Damn. I can see they're mentioning it as... I'm just in the store. They're, um, they're basically calling it the Mini 3 Pro regardless of which version you're looking at. So there's definitely no Mini 3 version. It's just all the Pro version. Okay. And this controller. I want to know more about this controller. It looks pretty epic. Yeah, here we go. So DJI RC N1 remote or the new DJI RC. So the RC Pro is the one that I've been doing some content on that's available for the Air 2S and the Mavic 3. Um, awesome. Now, a bunch of people have been asking, uh, is this new controller going to be compatible with other drones or is it only the Mini 3? <laughs> so I'd that's be curious be, about that. I'm sure I'd be in the spec somewhere. Yeah, we'll get to that, hey? Because this going to have to clear that up. Here we go. So here's the true vertical shooting. 
which is hit hit or miss for some people. I think some people think it's a bit gimmicky or a bit of a novelty. The original Mavic had it. Um, it's a warm welcome, warm feature to come back for me. Yeah, I love I it. Used to use it a lot. Yeah, makes it awesome. Like, like so easy for social media. Exactly, that's perfect for it. And here we go. Oh, so it does have. Can you see my screen yet? Or, or no? I still can't. <laughs> no. I'm trying to look at my own. <laughs> I wonder if you could go to the actual live stream and see it. Maybe. Uh, Hopefully, it's. Well, it looks like it's playing on my end. As so, long as it's playing on your end, that's the main thing. So I've scrolled down just to the section where it talks about the master shots and the focus track. So we actually do have master shots, which is cool. Focus track. Um, so what's focus tra so it's active track spotlight oh, okay. and point of interest like... yeah and That's i think cool. it's just a version behind i think they're all the same like um active track was 5.0 for the mavic 3 so again it's just like a version behind that's but... still pretty good yeah last time i used, last time i used any of my tracking features was on the original mavic so <laughs> yeah exactly yeah and that's it like a lot of this tech now after the first couple of iterations or first couple of versions of a piece of technology, like you can trust that when it's at version four, that it's going to be very stable. So, I mean, exactly. you're not missing out on anything major, not having the Mavic 3's additional offerings. Definitely. So there we go. Then, four times digital zoom and hyperlapse as well. I'm, I'm just happy with that hyperlapse. Like, as I, said, as I said on the live stream, no more needing to manually make them. Like, yeah. you know, get all the imagery put into Photoshop it was a tedious task. Like yeah. The newer drones hit go practically. It's just done, yeah. The fact that they offered waypoints as well in, in hyperlapse mode was, was kind of cool. Yeah. All right, we've got panorama. So, again, kind of the same offering as you would expect, which is, you know, welcome. Um, yeah. Oh, that's cute. The little charging kit. The little, like, charging hub is actually pretty cool. Nice and compact, yeah. considering the batteries are larger. Yeah. Looks like it might be a bit bigger than the original, the Mavic 2's one, but still mm. pretty cool. Okay, so right down the bottom, I, I love reading this section because this kind of well, gives you some insight normally into a few different things. So it's saying HDR video does not support video recording at over 30 FPS. So I'm guessing 4K 30 FPS would be the max for HDR, which is still amazing. Still pretty good. <laughs> good, yeah. And it also says A Pass 4.0, which is that like basically the tracking mode right that allowed you to the drone to track you oh, and, and not hit anything yeah that is not available by recording 4k 48 fps so or like, 50 or even 60 so you have to do 30 for that 4k 30 uh, that's still all right like, that's fine realistically 4k 30 everything yeah i'm pretty sure they've done that before with previous drones they just cap it at 30 it must be something to do with the, the processing power yeah, i, I guess think so. Seems to be like a, there's a lot happening in that little processor, and that's all happening in real time as well. So yeah, that's completely understandable. And 30 is fine. Okay, so let's check out. So you still can't see my my feed. I <laughs> love it. Love it. Hey, well, I'm on the specs section. I've got them all here. Okay. The specs. There we are. So oh. what stands out here? The what way kind of things. Oh, I oh know we're still good. Zoom's just popping up telling me that I've gone over my meeting limit. <laughs> you don't own me, Zoom. All right. Oh, you still there? Oh, no. I believe it's uh, frozen on me. Awkward. <laughs> oh well, everyone tuning in, I've just uh, had the Zoom call cut out on me, so <laughs> I've just had to set it back up again and admit Danny. <laughs> oh wow, the, Z the Zoom meeting was uh, was reached, the limit for the Zoom meeting. <laughs> oh, I suppose we shouldn't have jumped on that early then, should we? <laughs> oh wow, fun times. Oh, yeah, we're on specs. We're on specs. 
Are we still live? Yeah, yeah. It's still going. <laughs> cool. Oh, max ascent speed to city mode. That's cool. Where so are you up to? Um, I'm still on the specs. Where are you up to? Yeah, yeah. I'm just on specs as well. Yeah. Oh, I can see your screen now. <laughs> oh, you can? Cool. Yeah, I was just looking at this before it cut out. So the max flight time, 46 minutes with intelligent flight battery plus and measured while flying at 21.6. So... What do we want to know about the new battery? Just the weight, I guess? Or how yeah, that works? I'm sure the weights will be down the bottom somewhere. Yeah. Okay, so we've got forward, backward, and downward sensors, which we knew. There's no auxiliary bottom light, which is fine. No one, I'm sure, will care about that. <laughs> Three-axis gimbal, makes sense. So there we go. Effective pixels, 48. Which so it actually saw. is 48 megapixels, not 12. Yeah, is that what they're saying? Would there be yeah. another section down here that would tell us more? That should be That should be it. That should be it, yeah. yeah. Wow, no way. Fuck. Oh, I'm allowed to swear shit. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's cool. Okay. I was expecting it to be a quad bay sensor, but if it's 48 megapixels, then that's ridiculous. Yeah. Damn. Uh, hold up, there we go. There it is. 16 by 9 and, yeah, 12 megapixels. Where are you seeing Next this? One. Oh, down here. Size. There you go. Ah, uh, okay. It is 12 megapixels. Yeah, so it's but what you thought. When you put, yeah. But when you put it into that separate mode, then you can pull out 48 megapixels. So but you think it will be a separate mode, do you, for 48? Yeah, kind of like with the Air 2S where you had to put it into, like, the, the higher mode to be able to take a photo. Yeah, mm. It takes, like, an individual photo at a time. Yep. Still, still awesome. Yeah. I'm happy with that. Still awesome. I guess when you look at that on paper, it's interesting because 12 megapixels, what the Mini 2 and the Mavic Mini and the Mini SE all quoted, yeah. right? But it's obviously yeah. a larger sensor and a different sensor altogether, I'm guessing. Yeah. To have that dual native ISO, it'd have to be a different sensor because you can't just software update a dual, no. dual, set, dual ISO. Unless it was available in the original and they just limited it with software. <laughs> Well, that's what they did for the Mavic. That's what they did between the one, two, and SE. Yeah, exactly, they exactly. Across all of them. Oh. Okay, but, so that's the ISO range. That sounds pretty normal, does it? Yeah, that's about right. Yeah. Two second shutter. Oh, okay, that's not that's not bad. We can slow down the shutter to about two seconds then. Yeah. I think we used to be able to do it to eight seconds on the Mini Two. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. So we've got raw photos as expected. Here's the video resolution. So uh, like we saw, it goes up to 60 FPS. 2.7 goes up to 60 uh, and then full full HD up to 60. And then they have that separate slow motion mode. I'm guessing it will just be the one offering. 1080, 120. Oh. Yeah, that's insane. Imagine tracking a drifting car, like on oh. a racetrack at 120 frames. It's It'd be so cool. Oh yeah. Yeah, nice. Well, that's cool to see. HDR mode, so HDR supported in single shot mode, so photos in HDR as well as video, which I think we confirmed, yeah, up to 30 FPS. The max bit rate of 150 oh, megabit. Oh, yeah. There you go. That's better than the Inspire. The Inspire That's is awesome. rolling 100 megabit. <laughs> no way. That's really cool. So there you go, 4K two times. A lot of people seem to love the Zoom, even though it's digital Zoom. People seem oh. to be obsessed with it. And the amount of people it's that comment on my videos about it. Look, it's it's a usable zoom if you're not pushing it too far. Like mm. the way that worked out, so if you shoot in 4K, it's going to crop to 1080. But if you're shooting in 1080, it crops it essentially. It's using digital from 4K already. Mm. Hard, hard to explain, but it's still a usable bit of footage. Yeah. Yeah. So good. That's cool. So no new quick shot modes. We haven't seen a new quick shot mode in a while. I know it's not for everyone, but I'm surprised. I was thinking we might see a new quick shot mode. So it's Maybe all the classics. There'll be a firmware update eventually. Yeah. Some new trippy one. I, the only reason I thought that there might be a new quick shot mode is the fact that we've got different functionality with the camera now. The fact that we can actually point the camera upwards. I thought maybe they would do something different with that. Yeah, there could be like a TikTok mode or something. <laughs> yeah, TikTok mode. <laughs> So there we go, normal and decine like we saw that before, and the video transmission. So again, it's like just the version before the Mavic Three, which is insane to me that they've basically done that in a mini drone. Uh, we head up to the uh, OcuSync Three Plus for the Mavic Three. Yeah. 
So that's insane. <laughs> How good is that? I'm yeah, guessing that's for both controllers, regardless. I guess it would be, yeah. Because the N1 remote's still O3, I think, or O2, whatever it was. Oh, there you go. There it says it here. That's still awesome. Mm. Okay, so they've actually separated the signal ranges now. So there's no longer saying, oh, you're going to get 12 kilometers range. <laughs> yeah. That's good, though, because people are like, oh, why, is it, why doesn't my drone get 12Ks? I'm not going to state that you should be keeping it within visual line yeah. of sight, but you know, there's, when you've got Wi-Fi around, the, you know, around your home and everything, it's going to interfere. Yeah, exactly. Okay, well, that's cool that they've broken that down, and it looks like there's maybe only the one version, not the CE version. That's good. It means we get a better signal then, because the CE version was a lot weaker. Yeah. Bluetooth. Wait, what are you, where are you seeing blue, Bluetooth? Yeah, Bluetooth? That's weird. Yeah. What does the drone use Bluetooth for? What would that be for? Huh. Maybe like the Wi-Fi transfer. Like, that wouldn't make sense. No, that's weird. Here we go. So here's the breakdown of the two batteries. Also, look at the capacity difference here. That's, that's crazy. That's a big difference. <laughs> wow. And then the weight difference. Not as much of an increase as I thought. That's pretty impressive. They've got that in 121 grams. Yeah. Was it 64 wow. minutes for the DJI 30 watt charger? Mind you, from all the rumors I heard, we're not getting a charger in this pack anymore. So they're going very um, Apple and Samsung on it. Mm hmm. I saw that. I saw that. So recommended charger, because other people were saying you could use power banks to charge the battery as well. Mate, I, so. I charge most of my mini batteries on power banks. Now I've got this big beast over here that charges everything. <laughs> nice. Great for on the road. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, so yeah, like pretty but impressive. Do you, think you can even, do you think you can get was it uh, forty something minutes of flight with a thirty eight hundred milliamp hour battery? That's, that's crazy. That, that blows my mind. That's yeah, that's crazy. So I'm guessing there's no internal storage. We haven't seen anything like that. Probably not. So they're just going the the. Memory cards. Yeah, that makes sense. But, but it's compatible up to, I think I saw a 512 gigabyte card there, which is good. Like that's, Where are you seeing that? There you're down the bottom, the 512 gig. Oh, yeah, nice. Mind you, I don't think I've ever used anything over a 32 gig card because <laughs> they're 20 bucks, not even. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you just copy the footage and then format exactly. the memory card. <laughs> exactly. That way, if you ever lose the drone, you're not losing six months of footage. Yeah, imagine that. That'd be crazy. People do it though. People definitely do that. Oh, there's there's people out there. Chester, I'm talking about you, man. <laughs> <laughs> he knows. <laughs> he knows. If you know, you know. Exactly. So same video transmission for both the DJI RC as well as the original remote control. That's cool. That makes sense. Now, does it say the nits of the screen. Like that's, yeah, that's, that's what I wanted to know. Have I passed it? No. So there's the Bluetooth that. mention, Bluetooth protocol. Hmm. I wonder why. So do you see it? Have I passed it? I if anyone sees it in the comments, let us know because uh, well, that's good. Four hours of battery life. Oh, okay. Someone just said Bluetooth file transfer. That would make uh, sense. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I have, I'm sorry. I've been neglecting the, the chat. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay. So what else we got? Charging hub. Eh. DJ Fly. Yeah. Good old DJ Fly. Well, nothing about the brightness, which I think was the, the one spec no one knew. Yeah. How would we find that? Um, I'm, look, I'm sure it's going to be online in the next day or well, someone's going to te tested it. I've just looked at my phone and clearly the NDA has been released because there's about 40 people on YouTube that have just done their, um, their Mavic first impressions videos. I could imagine. <laughs> <laughs> the NDA is lifted, guys. Go for gold. Go for it. <laughs> Oh, here we go. This is a nice little uh, side by side. Oh. So, which is best for you? There we go. So, as opposed to the Mini 2, which had a 1 over 2.3 inch sensor, this is a 1 over 1.3. Aperture's f1.7 as opposed to f2.8. Yeah, nice. It's it's better on pretty much every single front, as you would imagine. It's it's better than the Air 2 in my mind. Mm, I know. Look at that. Better like range. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah all, same sensors and everything. A pass. Yeah. What's well, a better A pass system? Better tracking. Point of interest. Spotlight. Oh, I love it. That's True so cool. 
estimated shipping the 17th of the 5th. Oh, we still got to wait a week. Where are you seeing that? Oh, yeah, down here. Damn. Cool. Let us know in the comments who's thinking about picking it up now that you've actually seen everything officially from DJI. Uh, let me just get in the comments. <laughs> yeah. Just drop your credit card details. <laughs> Douche. <laughs> cool. Well, that's, well, yeah, really cool. Uh, I guess the next major question, Dan, will we be buying one? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, I'm keen to. Yeah, I'm keen to get it. I'm keen to compare it to. I actually want to see how it compares to like the Air Two S almost. See how them two go together. See how it compares to the Mini Two. Definitely. Yeah. Oh, it blows the Mini Two out of the water already. Mm. Yeah, I'd like to. I'd like to see an actual side by side comparison with the Air Two S. Mm. That the sensor on this is not much smaller than the the Air Two S sensor. Yeah. Fly times is massive. Like they're decent sized pixels as well. Someone but asked in the speak, comments. Can we talk about pricing? Yeah, we haven't spoken about pricing. Someone's asking if it's a Sony sensor. How do we know 100%? I think DJI, from what I've seen, DJI tends to use their own sensors. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't know exactly on this. Uh, let me have a look at the sensor. All right. So these are the prices where you look for that. Uh, DJI Mini 3 Pro, which is the standalone. Oh, it includes the, the RCN1 controller, which is that controller you've seen for the Mini 2. Um, and the Air 2S, so that's 1,119 Australian dollars. With the brand new controller, that's only 100 bucks more, right? Oh no, a bit more, 200. Not that much more. It's not bad. Like just under, yeah, that's pretty decent. I was thought it was going to be a lot more, really. I like that they're selling it without the RC now as well. Mm. So everyone's already got the same remotes. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's cool. There's nothing actually about the specific sensor themselves yet, um, but from what I've seen in the past, DJI tends to make their own golden ticket. Yeah, what's this golden ticket thing? I don't know. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Exclusive yeah, rewards. what do we DJI get? DJI Day. Whoa. That looks cool. Your purchase. It doesn't really tell you much, though. It's such a mystery. DJI Day. We'll give you an extra 5% off. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, well, that's cool. Nice. Is there anything that we haven't had answered so far? Oh, nice. Someone just said in the comments, just pre-ordered. Yeah, nice work. Nice. BEQ. Congratulations. congratulations on your new drone. <laughs> yeah, congratulations. Let us know well, how it goes. To be honest, as soon as we hit end live stream, I'm clicking buy now. So <laughs> yeah. If there's still stock left. Yeah, jump on it, actually. <laughs> Yeah, nice. And what are your thoughts on the look, just quickly before we, we end it? Are you a fan of the look? Look, it reminds me of, um, what was the character from Ice Age? The Bug Eyes? Uh, uh, Sid? Is it Sid? Yes, it reminds me of Sid. Yeah, it really <laughs> does, actually. The one thing that I guess I was a little worried about when I originally saw it, and this photo really showcases it, that there's not much clearance, because we don't have those legs on the side to prop it up much. Doesn't it kind of sit up off the ground a bit though? It like, does, yeah. Let's see if there's a side on shot of it. I think there was before. I think, yeah, there was something. Maybe not. Oh, here we go. Hmm. Yeah, yeah see, it, it's it's kind of adjusted so the front of it's a bit higher. Which I guess, you know, if you're taken off in grass, you probably should hand launch it. Yeah. <laughs> actually, that'd be a good one. The props are a lot lower, so you have there's a little only a small area to actually hand catch now. Yeah, true. Well, that's going to hurt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, nice. Well, if we're cool to leave it there, maybe we'll end it there. Happy days. Any, any, any other questions in the comments? Definitely check out Mole Media. I've got his links in the uh, video description. So check his stuff out. I'm just having a look. Have you looked through the comments at all? Is there anything we've missed there? No, oh, I'm going to look them up now. Is this available in India? Uh, if you go to the DJI website, I'm sure it would tell you based on your location. Correct me if I'm wrong, Danny, but I think it does, right? It updates you. Yeah, takes yeah. it to wherever you are. That's a good Online. question. DJI RC work with Mavic 3? Because I think that would be a cool combo for people that don't want to splurge on the RC yeah. Pro. Maybe the just the DJI RC could be good for a lot of people. Definitely. Let's have a look. See if there's anything on any of the websites yet. It, 
it makes sense like if it's a spec down remote like mm. why not yeah it makes a lot of sense and like yeah well there's nothing wrong with it if it's getting that kind of range it's using the same ocusync yeah the only thing i can think is that they want to kind of keep consumers in particular lanes you know what i mean like it's like you want to buy that well you can only have that if you want to buy that you can only have that which i hope that's not the case but a lot of business seems to go that way it's very apple <laughs> yeah minimum tep working what do you mean by that le it's a frog yeah it really does look like a frog <laughs> I'll be spewing if JB Hi-Fi has it tomorrow. <laughs> they probably already do. Yeah, it's probably there in their warehouse. So Devin's asking, have you bought it? Not yet. What about you, Danny? You're going to buy it soon, hey? I'm going to buy it as soon as we hang out from here. I can pull my credit card out without being on a live stream. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's probably not smart. <laughs> Jasper has a thousand videos already. Are we talking about Jasper Ellens, the, the leak guy, 27 leaks, Mad Max? He's probably had the drone for a year already. <laughs> Yeah, and also like I am curious. Like he's an awesome dude, helps us out with a lot. What happens when we hit leak twenty seven? Does he just stop leaking? Is that it? Are we done that? It's a very specific Maybe. amount of leaks, you know. Yeah. I hope not. I hope you stay around, Jasper. He's good. He's he's co he's covering all of us. Mm. Know, he's actually kind of leading the pack. Like, there's a few people that do it for sure, but. He's yeah. crushing it. There you go. Uh, uh, he hasn't released any videos on YouTube yet. Like, he's got the star of usual leak videos. Hmm. Oh, I'm pumped. Yeah, that's he really look, cool. Look frog. I was just looking in the um, frequently asked questions, seeing if there's anything in there about the controllers, maybe. There's a few. Nothing really. Huh. Does Mini 3 Pro support manual mode for shooting? Yes, you can manually set camera parameters. <laughs> you, you would hope so. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, there's nothing really in there. I guess we'll just have to wait. I'm sure all the reviewers have already covered all of this. Uh, let's see. No, if I type in knit... NIT for knit display? No, there's nothing there. Oh well. Cool. Well, that's probably that we'll end it there, hey? And uh, I'm definitely going to have some mini three content on the channel whenever I get my hands on one. Definitely. Maybe we that could uh, do another live stream, you and I, when we've both had a chance to use it for a bit and we could kind of maybe answer some more questions or have like a bit of a chat about it once we've used it for a little while. Yeah, I'd definitely be keen to join. That could uh, be pretty cool. A few hours on this thing within the first week for sure. Oh yeah, we'll probably just have to like call in sick for work. <laughs> <laughs> COVID. <laughs> All right, scrape it in again. Mini three, <laughs> mini three. <laughs> right. We got um, what's it called? Uh, call the boss and tell him you got gas. Gear acquisition syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice. Cool. All right. Well, thank you, Danny, for joining me. Uh, thanks for everyone for tuning in. And uh, we'll talk to you in the next one, hey? Peace out, guys. Take it easy.